our discussion will be regarding the uh, Bill of Rights, which is an integrated part of the 1987 Philippine Constitution. Let us start with an introduction. You just uh, follow the uh, notes as I go through with this uh, lecture. So, the state shall have the right to limit the liberty and freedom of its citizens through police power. Okay. Again, take note that not all liberties are suspended for we are a democratic country. What does police power mean? A police power means okay, limiting the rights and liberties of individuals. So again, take note that we are a free country. We can do whatever we want. We can uh, vote. We can uh, purchase firearms even. We, can, we have the right to education, etc., etc. But certain rights or certain, uh, as we call it, uh, certain liberties or freedoms should be limited. Let us say, for instance, urinating. Urinating is normal because it's our body's response to uh, cleaning itself. It's a def defense mechanism that uh, in order for us to stay healthy, we should eject those uh, radicals that are not required by the human body. So, for instance, urinating. If you were to encounter an individual who urinates in front of you, wouldn't that be offensive? I can take note, these rights or these liberties, not rights, liberties or uh, uh, acts of free will should be controlled, should be, uh, let us say, for instance, say neutralized, okay, in order for it not to go out of control. Okay. So in return, the state may limit our liberties, but the state also gave us a weapon in order for us to defend ourselves from abuses, in order for us to defend ourselves from atrocities committed by government employees, government agencies, government personnel. Ang tawag natin dyan is yung Bill of Rights ninyo. Okay? Bill of Rights are rights given by the government to us Filipinos in order for us to protect ourselves from atrocities committed or omitted by government employees, agencies, or their agents. It states there that simply put that we are free people, we have rights and privileges, but the government limits them for us to stop harming ourselves and other people. Not just harm, but also to offend or disgrace them. Going to section 1. No person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall any person be denied the equal protection of the laws. Whatever you are, whoever you are, rich, poor, the law applies to you. And, of course, you must be wondering why uh, the uh, DSWD, CHR, and some other government organizations protect those who are living in the slums, those who are, sabi na lang natin na those people who are in the slums or tundo, yung mga ghettos na tinatawag ninyo. Why do they help them? They don't even contribute anything to the economy. They don't contribute anything to the society. They're just there. Pakalat-kalat lang sila. Why? It's because of this. It's because of Section 1. Filipino people. Okay? Naturalized or 
by blood you have the right to live you have the right to be free and you have the right to own property whether real or personal what's the difference between real and personal property real property these are properties that are non-movable such as parcel, parcels of land house and lot mga yan. and you have there your personal property these are basically properties that are movable cellular cellular phones books pens etc okay and of course nobody shall be deprived of the equal protection of the laws okay whatever religion you belong to whatever uh, uh, sect whatever you believe in okay but whether you are anti-christ whether you are pro-government whether you are communist still the government is there why because it is enshrined in the philippine constitution and again take note that the philippine constitution is the highest law of the land no law shall be made okay that violates any provisions of the constitution say for instance death penalty death penalty was deemed as unconstitutional why because it violates section number one of the bill of rights okay kaya yung mga nakalagay na penalty dun sa mga libro na punishable by death sinabi niyang ganun okay those are all punishable by reclusion perpetua reclusion perpetua yung mga yan okay Section 2, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures whatever of whatever nature and for any purpose shall be inviolable. And no search warrant or warrant of arrest shall be issued except upon probable cause to be determined personally by the judge after examination. Okay, And take note that the search warrant should specifically state there the places or things to be searched and the things to be seized. Okay. So again, we have the rights to our properties. Hindi pwedeng pumunta ang mga polis sa bahay ninyo and then sabihin nila na o plan kap kap ito, o plan shakedown or whatever, o plan greyhound. They cannot do that. Why? Because they do not have a legal basis. And when you do not have a legal basis, your acts are, what? Violations of laws. You will be trespassing, okay, etc. Okay? So again, take note that the warrant of arrest, bago yan ma-issue, there should be probable cause. What is probable cause? Probable cause is the reason to engender a well-founded belief that a crime has been committed and the offender should be uh, guilty for it. Okay? Ano ba yung mga probable cause? Say for instance, uh, naglalakad yung tao. Okay? And then biglang nadapa. And then here comes another person. Anong ginawa niya? Instead na tulungan, kinakap yung bulsa, ninakaw yung wallet. That's the probable cause right there. That's the reason to engender a well-founded belief that a crime has been committed. Okay? Whatever that may be na kinuha niya dun sa bulsa, Still, that's enough. Okay, that's probable cause. Say, for instance, you are arguing with a police officer. Then, nung ginawa mo, tinulak mo. Okay? The act of pushing, that is probable cause. Sabihin na lang natin na probable cause is one of the elements in order for a crime to occur. That's probable cause. Say, for instance, uh, bago kayo, you are rendering duty as a uh, rookie police officer, and then you see a person, okay, duguan yung damit niya, and he is carrying a machete. Now, pagkatapos nun, tumakbo siya. And then, nung pumunta ka doon sa area kung saan siya nanggaling, may patay na tao. That is probable cause. 
na yung tao na nakita mo kanina, okay, is connected to the incident. Why? Because of those facts that you have observed. Okay, that is probable cause. Next, let's go to uh, uh, still let's stay, let's stay in uh, warrant of arrest. In warrant of arrest, take note that warrants of arrest they do not expire. Sir, meron na kung nabasa in the rules of court. Sabi dun, 10 days. No. The 10 day period is a uh, is a is the period wherein dapat mong execute yung warrant of arrest. Yes. But say for instance, yung warrant of arrest was issued to uh, CPP leader Joma Sison. Joma Sison is not here in the country. He's in Switzerland, he's in Netherlands. Uh, wala po tayong extradition treaty. That's why they cannot deport him here to the country. See, for instance, the warrant of arrest was not issued, uh, was issued, sorry, was issued to Joma Sison. And then you were charged for the uh, execution of the warrant. Sa'yo binigay yung warrant of arrest para ikaw mag-execute. Ngayon, Paano yung 10-day period? When it comes to the 10-day period, okay, pag nag yung 10 days na yun, mag-report ka sa court. And then you state the reason as to why hindi mo pa na-serve, hindi mo pa nagamit or hindi mo pa nahuli yung tao. Okay? Hindi mo pa nagamit yung warrant na yun, yung warrant of arrest na yun. Okay? So that's the purpose of the 10-day period if you've uh, read uh, any uh, sections or articles in uh, the uh, rules of uh, court and criminal procedure. Okay? So pag lapse nung 10-day period na yun, nag-report kayo in, kay judge na andun siya sa Netherlands, hindi na kayo mahuli, etc. Okay, that's it. The warrant of arrest still lives on. Hindi po siya namamatay. Hindi siya nag expire okay, Why? Kasi hindi pa siya na-serve. Next, let's go to the search warrant. Search warrant, ito yung may expiration date. Search warrant expires within the 10-day period. So after 10 days, you have not served the wa search warrant. Okay, then you need to get a new one from the same court that issued you the previous warrant. And take note that the search warrant must indicate there specifically the street, the building, how many floors, what color the building is, what color the gate is. The search warrant must be specific at all times. That is mandatory. Because if you did not state there specifically okay, the facts regarding the uh, building to be searched or the place to be searched, then may hirapan yung mga law enforcers. Eh baka mamaya pumunta sila dun sa bahay ng ano, ibang tao. Nung ginawa nila, binakbak nila yung pintuan. O nag-incur sila ng damages. O, diba? So it has to be specific. And another, the things to be seized must be indicated specifically. Again, I give emphasis on the word specific. Okay. So, say for instance, ang linagay dun is, uh, ang linagay ni Judge dun sa search warrant is, you seize uh, fruits of the crime. Oh, so, pera, Drugs, siguro, ganyan. That is not specific. Why do you say so? Fruits of the crime can be, as I've stated earlier on, it can be monetary, it can be uh, object, it can be physical objects, things. Okay? Which makes police officers more prone to what? Stealing. So it has to be specific. Say for instance, ang nakalagay lang dun sa search warrant, items to be seized are firearms, drugs, and cash. That's it. 
Kaya kapag yung polis pumunta dun sa bahay and they conducted a search and seizure operations, tapos anong ginawa ng polis? Yeah. Nakakita siya na flat screen TV, Sony, Bravia, or yung Samsung na yeah, yung curve, yung hindi flat. Inala na, kinuha niya. Why? Sir, fruits of the crime. It's not specific. Malay mo, that, that TV or that object was bought by the individual using their own money or using their parents' money or whatsoever. Okay, so it encourages police officers to be what? To be corrupt. Okay, so it has to be specific. So you have to serve the search warrant in 10 days. Again, kung hindi mo siya na serve within 10 days, you have to report to the court. Okay? Para kumuha ng bagong search warrant. Sir, yung like expire na search warrant, pwede po bang gamitin? No. Hindi na yun pwedeng gamitin. Okay? Search warrants expire okay, in 10 days. Warrant of arrests okay, require you to report okay, after a 10-day period, but it does not expire. When does a search uh, warrant of arrest expire? When the person is arrested. When the person surrenders. Okay, to the authorities, the person whose name is indicated in the warrant of arrest. Okay, that is the difference between your search warrant and warrant of arrest. Okay. Okay, you just read the brief there. It's already stated there. Kung ayaw nung ayaw nung pakinggan yung bosses ko, the brief is already there. The summary is there. Okay, you have there a question. Can an ordinary person, can a civilian, arrest a person who has committed a crime? What's the answer? The answer is, of course, yes. The answer is already written there, as you can see. Ang tawag po natin dyan is citizen's arrest or your warrantless arrest. When it comes to your citizen's arrest or your warrantless arrest, meron tayong lima. Okay, there are five instances wherein you can perform this arrest. First is you have there when the person is uh, uh, attempting to commit, actually committing, actually committing. When it comes to actu actually committing, ang tawag natin dyan is in flagrante delicto or caught in the act. Next is your has committed the offense. Natapos niya nang ginawa yung krimen. Okay. Ang tawag natin dyan, another term there is your hot pursuit. Next is if the person, what? When the person escapes custody okay, of the authorities. Nakatakas po siya from a Ano, penal establishment such as a jail or a prison. Okay. And you have there the fifth one which is if the person fifth is if the person who has a pending criminal case in the country attempts to leave the country without asking permission from the court. Okay, for instance, the person is charged with murder in the regional trial court uh, uh, Baguio and then pumunta siya ng Naiya and then he attempts to leave for sabihin natin, uh, Iceland. Can they arrest him there? Yes. Especially if the court has no blessing. If the court does not know na itong taong ito, okay, is pupunta ng ibang bansa without their knowledge. Mas pagbabawalan nila na pumunta ka sa ibang bansa if the country does not have an existing what extradition treaty with our country. 
One example there is yung pinuntahan ni Juma Sison. Kaya nga sinabi ko kanina, hindi nila yan mapadeport. Why? Because there's no extradition treaty between the Netherlands and the Philippines. They cannot extradite him to our country to face charges. Okay. If you're going to look at the criminal database, the bounty under uh, Juma Sison is, I believe, 10 million pesos. That's the bounty. Okay, on Jose Maria Sison said, okay, just for him to be arrested and uh, be brought to the authorities. Okay, one other thing here when it comes to citizens' arrest is that uh, law enforcers, when they conduct arrests, say for instance, uh, see si Mr. Balandog, uh, is going to arrest a person okay who is uh, five times his uh, body size sabi natin his body mass malaki yung tao okay and then the overpowers Mr. Balantog can Mr. Balantog as a police officer can Mr. Balantog ask for assistance from the public in order to effect the arrest of that individual the answer is yes that is enshrined in the law. Okay? That is enshrined in the law. And if, say for instance, tumakbo yung offender, and the offender went inside a building, okay, can a police officer enter that building where the offender has entered? As yes, they can enter. Again, that is enshrined in the law. And of course, to break out of the building where the offender has entered. Okay? So, kung lumabas yung uh, pagbumasok yung offender, the police officer can also enter that building, uh, whether private or public. Pwedeng pumasok yung police officer in order to affect the arrest. Pag lumabas din yung offender, the police officer can exit the building as well. Anong gagawin niya dun? Hihintay, magkakapi muna. No, that will not happen. Okay? Ayun, okay. Police officers can enter and exit the building. Okay, where the uh, offender has entered and exited. And of course, they can ask for assistance from the public. When it comes to citizens' arrest, they cannot, they cannot ask for assistance. So if Mr. Balantog is a regular civilian, he cannot ask for assistance from the public. Okay, he cannot force me to help him arrest that person. Why? Because, oh, ayoko nga. It will endanger my life. Well, why would I do something that will endanger my life? Okay? So, under the law, civilians are allowed to conduct arrests, but they are not allowed to ask for assistance from the public, from other civilians, in order to effect an arrest. Okay, you have their question. Are searches and seizures prohibited under the Constitution? Again, the answer there is what? Letter A. No, because the guarantee is not a blanket prohibition against all searches and seizures as it operates only against unreasonable ones. B. Yes, because the rule requires that searches and seizures must be covered by a warrant. Yeah, probably. Yes, because it is expressly mandated in the Constitution. And no, because it is the duty of the state to maintain the crime rate at a low level. What's the answer? The answer there is letter A. Okay. Searches and seizures, okay, are not totally prohibited by the Constitution. Ang bawal lang po is illegal searches and seizures. Okay. Let's go to section 3. Privacy of communication and correspondence shall be inviolable except upon lawful order of the court or when public safety or order requires otherwise as prescribed by law. Okay, you have an example there which is Republic Act 4200. Okay, the anti-wiretapping law. Ano ba itong wiretapping na to? Okay, say for instance, I'm having a conversation with another uh, individual. Say for instance, I'm having a conversation with uh, the uh, president of Easter College using 
uh, a landline and then this hacker goes in to the uh, pumunta siya dun sa isang line okay anong ginawa niya nag install siya doon ng tapping device it's basically parang nagre route lang siya ng wire get uh, another telephone and then listen to the conversation or putting bugging devices on uh, what's this uh, communication devices say for instance naglagay kayo ng bugging device or listening device or small microphone doon sa landline okay bawal po yan say for instance nag-usap kayo ni president na oh, ganito ah Mr. Alumnia ako na nakasjakin niya sinabi niya sa akin na oh, ano na to yung pera dun sa accounting kunin mo lahat deposit mo dun sa account mo sa'yo na lahat yun okay say for instance okay and then yung conversation namin na yun was bug nag tap sila so they have evidence against us now can they use that evidence against us in the court no why because they violated republic act 4200 which is the anti wiretapping law okay we will be discussing about uh, this uh, as we go on with the uh, discussion okay so however sabihin natin na china is at war with the uh, philippines can uh, can we resort to wiretapping of course we can that is already considered as signals intelligence and military intelligence in time of war you cannot compromise anything okay kaya when it comes to national security uh pwede po tayong mag uh, ano na to mag wiretap but when it comes to ano na to uh, yung mga nag-uusap na tao and then hinak mo naglagay uh, ka ng bugging device you are basically violating RA 4200 okay, which is the anti-wire tapping law okay, you have there the other one an evidence obtained in violation of this or the preceding section shall be inadmissible for any purpose in uh, any proceeding okay so yung evidence na nakuha ninyo dun sa wiretapping bawal po yan violation of privacy okay basically evidence that violates the rights of other people okay or uh, scratch that evidence obtained through illegal means okay evidence obtained through illegal means are not admissible in court okay say for instance yung example ko dyan yung tanimbala di ba na uso yan back in 2016 2015 2016 malakas yung tanimbala okay yan tanim droga say for instance when you are in uh, pubs or clubs uh, in, in the city of Baguio meron tayong tinatawag na uplan bakal ano ba itong uplan bakal na ito Oplan Bakal is uh, conducted by law enforcement uh, personnel uh, at night time inside bars, clubs, uh, pubs, etc. Okay? Disco clubs. Ang ginagawa nila dun is kumak nagkakapkap sila. Kinakapkap nila yung mga bar patrons. Okay? Inspecting their bodies if they carry with them what? Weapons such as knives, daggers, etc. Okay. So yan ang uplan bakal. Okay. Paano kapag nagtanim ka ng habang kinakapkapan mo yung civilian, ikaw na police, nagtanim ka ng droga dun. That is planting of evidence. Bawal po yan. Tapos gagamitin mo yung evidence na yun, laban against that person. Um, inadmissible yung evidence. Fruit of the poisonous tree yan. Okay. Ang tawag dyan is fruit of the poisonous tree. Okay, you have there the evidence gathered uh, in violation of a person's uh, uh, ano na to? person's uh, right against illegal searches and seizures. Okay, and you also have there the total exclusionary rule, which states that evidence taken in violation of a person's constitutional rights shall not be admissible as evidence in court. Lahat po. Okay, lahat po ng ebidensya na nakuha, okay, na uh, 
na lumalabag dun sa karapatan, karapatan ng isang tao sa ilalim ng sa ligang batas ng Pilipinas ay hindi tinatanggap sa korte. Okay, inadmissible siya sa court. Section 4. No law shall be passed abridging the freedom of speech, freedom of expression, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and petition the government for redress of grievances. Okay, say for instance, walang batas na pwedeng magbawal ng uh, uh, na magbawal ng mga pag-establishment, pag-establish ng uh, communication centers, mag-establish ng mga radio stations, mag-establish ng mga television, okay, programs, mga news programs. Why? Because that's freedom of freedom speech. Okay, sabihin natin na ano na to? Pumunta ka sa Session Road. Okay? Sinigaw mo dun. Si Duterte. Di ba? Buhay yan. Si Duterte. Kurakot yan. Okay? They cannot arrest you for doing that. <coughs> but if say for instance, pumunta ka ng Session Road, naghubad ka dun, and then sumigaw-sigaw ka ng Duterte. Duterte baboy. Demonyo. Satanas. Hitler. Yan ang sinigaw nyo dun. Pwede ka bang kasuan? Yes. Why? That is already under an, uh, uh, alarms and scandals. Okay, that is already uh, part of uh, um, that way. indecent exposure. Indecent exposure ang tawag dyan. Okay, so yung mga nagrarali dyan sa session road, bakit hindi pwedeng huliin? Okay, why? Because they are just expressing their ideas, their opinions, etc. The police, military cannot shoot them. The police, military cannot arrest them. Why? Because that's the right dyan sa uh, Philippine Constitution natin. Okay? But if the rally becomes violent, when the protests become destructive, both to life and property, then the police officers and military can act upon that. Nagbabatuhan na sila. Okay? May mga nagtata gumag nagtatapon ng pillbox, nagtatapon ng molotov. Okay? Bawal na po yung mga yan. Okay? Why? Because it endangers lives and property. Okay? But as much as possible, again, I discourage you from participating in what? Strikes. Especially kapag yung mga nakasuot ng strikes, nakared. Yung mga banner nila, nakared. And their uh, platform is to overthrow the government. Yeah, I will personally go there and throw rocks at you. Yeah, you are a disgrace to the country if that's the case. Okay, so section 4, freedom of speech. Okay, pwede yan. Kaya yung mga nakita nyo dun sa Facebook na nagbabash ng mga ibang tao, trolling, etc. They are not being arrested. Okay, but again, take note that meron, meron tayong cyber libel, ah, bawal po yan. Pinos nyo yung tao, tapos sinasabi nyo, ah, oh, yan, magnanakaw yan. Okay, that's cyber libel. Okay, do not do that. Okay, section 5. Section 5, no law shall be made respecting an, uh, respecting an establishment of uh, religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. The free exercise and enjoyment of religious profession and worship without discrimination or preference shall forever be allowed. Okay? No religious test shall be required for the uh, exercise of civil or political rights. Say for instance, uh, ako, I want to establish my own religion. Alonyaism. Okay? Pwede ba? Yes! Pwede! You can establish your own religion here in the country. Okay, why? Because it's not prohibited by the law. If you are Islam, if you are Christian, if you are Catholic, Protestant, okay, Adventist, whatsoever, Episcopalian, Church of Christ, it does not matter. Okay? There, is, there will be no law that will favor one religion. Walang batas na magsasabing Republic Act 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Christianity should be followed. Islam should be followed as the 
main religion of the Philippines. Bawal po yan. That's against Section 5 of the Constitution of the Bill of Rights. Okay? Okay. Wala ring batas na magsasabing uh, bawal kang tumakbo ng as a president kasi Muslim ka. Bawal yan. Okay? There is a law that protects religious rights as well. This is the one that does it. Section 6. The liberty of abode and changing of the same within the limits prescribed by law shall not be impaired except upon lawful order of the court. Neither shall be the right to travel be impaired except in the interest of national security, public safety, or public health, public health, as may be provided by law. Okay, say for instance, here you go. Okay, kahit saan dito sa Pilipinas, pwede kang manirahan. Okay. You can travel anywhere and at any time of the day or night within the country. There is no law that will stop you from doing so. Sir, paano ay itong corona pandemic na to? Meron niyang ECQ na yan, which prevents us from traveling. Why? Look at the section, the, look at section 6. Okay? Neither shall the right to travel be impaired except in the interest of national security. Pag may digmaan, magta-travel ka pa sa Boracay. Yeah? Wala ah, mamamatay ka. Public safety or public health. Oh, saan dyan kasama yung COVID-19 ninyo, public safety and public health. Okay? Again, take note that the Bill of Rights, as I've stated earlier on, is made okay, for us to protect ourselves. To protect ourselves and to protect against atrocities committed by the government. Okay? Or abuses for that matter. Okay? Okay, go there to uh, uh, Revised Penal Code Book 2 Article 121 Flight to any country The penalty of arrest to mayor um, Carrying a penalty of An imprisonment Period of imprisonment of one month and one day To six months Shall be inflicted upon any person Who owing allegiance to the government Attempts to flee or go to an enemy country When prohibited by Competent authority Police officers Okay, military personnel. Okay, those who took an oath of office. Yung mga yan. And then pumunta sila sa ibang uh, ban bansa. Say for instance, the Philippines is at war with China. And then the president or the vice president went to China. Di ba? Bawal. Okay, malilintikan ka sa article 121 ng revised penal code. Okay, why? Because baka magkakaroon na conspiracy. Okay? Public trust will be ano, public trust will be uh, diminished if that's the case. Okay? People will no longer trust you if uh, you do that. Ang sasabihin nila is a traitor yan. Yeah? Section 7, the right of the people to information on matters of public concern shall be recognized. Okay? Access to official records and to documents except yung mga classified documents ninyo. Okay? Top secret, secret, confidential, and restricted. Of course, those are not open to the public. But other uh, forms of information are. Okay? And papers pertaining to official acts such as laws, bag mga bagong batas, mga bagong executive order, uh, uh, decrees or whatsoever memorandum circular or decisions as well as to government research data used as basis for policy development shall be afforded okay, the citizen subject to such limitations as may be provided by law okay? yan na yung restriction yung sinasabi ko kanina those uh, documents that are classified mga may laman na sikreto okay, or sensitive data okay? lahat po yan uh, uh, besides yung sinabi ko kanina na classified matter all other matters pertaining to the government are accessible to the public that is the uh, freedom to information okay, under section 7 okay. how about section 8 the right of the people including those employed 
in the public and private sectors to form unions, okay, associations or societies for purposes not contrary to law shall not be abridged. Pwede kayong gumawa ng union, workers union, okay, na meron kayong president, meron kayong representative. Okay, so parang partido yan sa loob ng, uh, ano na to, sa loob ng organization ninyo. Say for instance, for example, me, uh, here in Easter College, we do not have a workers union kasi ang meron dyan is, uh, I think they have a co-op but they did not join. Don't like joining those. Okay, just creates problems. Now, okay, uh, pwede kayong gumawa ng mga grupo sa loob ng workforce ninyo. Say for instance, mga uh, worker society, pwede silang magkaroon ng sarilang workers union. Okay? As long as this workers union does not violate any law, as long as this organization, this union does not have any evil intentions, then they can establish. Hindi pwedeng sabihin ng UC sa mga uh, employees nila, hindi kayo pwede mag-establish ano mag ng union. Okay, why? Kasi disturbo yan sa mga klase ninyo. So, say for instance, sa PNP, hindi kayo pwedeng magkaroon ng union kasi ganito ganyan. Hindi kayo pwedeng magkaroon ng asosasyon. Hindi kayo pwedeng sumali sa mga Lions Club, mga Rotary Club. Hindi kayo pwede. Okay, the law okay, does not say na bawal. Eh, pwede. Ang bawal lang is those that go against the law. Okay? You have their section 9. Private property shall not be taken for public use without just compensation. Okay? So, say for instance, uh, in provinces, this commonly occurs in provinces, uh, may mga lupa kayo, you have parcels of land. But then the government wants to build the highway eh, or mag-road widening sila. Eh, matatamaan yung property ninyo. Ano mangyari dyan? The government will compensate you. Eh, the government will buy your land from you in order to build that project. Hindi nila pwedeng, hindi sila pwedeng magpunta ng uh, commando unit dun sa bahay mo and then sabihin na you allow us to build road. No, that will not happen. That's a violation again. Okay? They will buy your land. They will pay you. Okay? Para kunin yung lupa from you. Okay? So, the appraisal of the value of the lot per square meter depends on the lot value, quality, and type of lot as stated in the deed. Okay? Mer marami kasi mga uh, types of lots. You have the residential, commercial, farming, etc. Okay? So, I think commercial uh, lots are much more expensive than uh, others. Ano? You have their section 10 which states that no law impairing the obligation of contracts shall be passed. Okay? Which means that Congress cannot pass a law which interferes with the obligations of individuals who entered into an agreement. Okay, so if there's an agreement between two parties, the government cannot, what well, they cannot intervene in that contract way because they are not part of it. Okay, they cannot pass a law that uh, interferes or says how a party deals with the agreement na pinasukan nila. Say for instance, sabi nun sa kontrata na, uh, say for instance, it's about debt. Okay, nag, uh, nag, nag, ako, nagmutang ako dun sa kasama ko. And then, in that agreement, okay, I have to pay the debt within 30 days. The Congress cannot pass a law which states that all debts should be paid within 10 days. Something like that. Let's proceed to the next section, which is section 11. Free access to the courts and quasi-judicial bodies and adequate legal assistance shall not be denied to any person by reason of poverty. 
when a person, si for instance, I'm a bum, one dollar ako, pulubi, and then I committed a crime against this uh, other person, then they arrested me. You very well know that while conducting the arrest, police officers should state my constitutional rights. This is better known to you as the Miranda rights. Pero ang formal term dyan is your constitutional rights. Okay, kasi yung uh, Miranda rights na yan, they took it from a case in the United States. Miranda versus the state of Arizona. Because there, uh, similar to the uh, uh, United States, similar to the Philippines upon arrest dapat sabihin din yung constitutional rights and uh, there are these uh, police officers who failed to inform Mr. Miranda uh, his rights when he was arrested yun yung pioneering case that's the very first case that uh, was brought to court which involves police officers not stating the constitutional rights of the suspect or the offender that they've arrested so, sasabihin dun sa, dun sa uh, constitutional rights that uh, the person has the right to remain silent, the person has the right to a competent and independent counsel, preferably of their own choice. And if they cannot afford the services of a counsel or attorney or a lawyer, the state will provide them with one. Okay, that is a solid proof, or that's a solid uh, backup to number section eleven of the uh, uh, Bill of Rights. Okay, again, free access to courts. Uh, when you will enter your later years, kapag may mga law subjects na kayo, your instructors, the lawyers, will be uh, instructing you to go to the justice hall or the uh, Capital, if you reside in La Trinidad, to observe trials, ongoing trials. Okay, I'm going to give you information here. If uh, you are going to court, kapag magkakanda kayo ng court observation, huwag kayong magsuot ng chinelas, huwag kayong magsandu, huwag kayong magshorts. Why? Because hindi kayo pa papapasokin. Sir, that is uh, against section 11. Ah, no! Okay? That's just the dress code naman. Okay? If, kahit na wala kayong pera, pwede kayong pumasok dun. Okay? Yung requirement lang dun, ladies and gentlemen, is that you have to bring at least one valid ID because uh, uh, security reasons within the courts. Okay? So, legal assistance, okay, shall not be denied to any person by reason of poverty. Okay? Meron tayong tinatawag sa Justice Hall or... Uh, in the, the judicial branch uh, PAO ano ba itong PAO na to? Public Attorney's Office this office is where you'll be able to afford the uh, services of a council and majority of new lawyers are deployed in uh, PAO if they do not want to enter into private practice in section 12 we have there uh, tab 1 any person under investigation for the commission of an offense shall have the right to be informed of the right. Okay, here you are. This is the constitutional rights that has to be informed uh, upon arrest. Kapag kinuhuli kayo ng police, kakabang nilalagay yung pusas sa inyo. These are the constitutional rights that they have to inform you. This is mandatory. For you future law, enforce, uh, law enforcers, this is very essential. You have to memorize this. Not memorize this, but you have to embrace this. Okay? As an integral part of your uh, ano na to, learning in uh, the degree of criminology. Why? Because this will save you in the future. Mahirap po magkaroon ng administrative case. Okay. Say for instance, rookie police officer kayo and then you're so happy that you've arrested one uh, 
uh, offender and uh, here you are getting uh, getting sued administratively why because you didn't state the constitutional rights of the person you've arrested okay so they have the right to be informed of their right to remain silent and to have a competent and independent counsel preferably of their own choice and if they cannot afford the services of a counsel they will be provided with one okay take note may nakalagay dyan that these rights cannot be waived except in writing and in the presence of a counsel take note that your right to be informed of your constitutional rights that is not waivable your right to remain silent that is waivable what do i mean by this say for instance uh, habang ini uh, habang ini inform kayo ano say, uh, i'm sorry na, not habang ini inform but uh, say for instance the police officer uh, will now tell you sir i am police officer like this and like that i am now going to inform you of your constitutional rights okay and then sasabihin niya na yan what if sinabi ng tao na wag mo nang sabihin sa akin yan police officer say for instance i got arrested ano and uh, i know this okay and then sinabi ng police sa akin sir i'm now going to inform you of your constitutional rights and then sinabi ko sa kanya na sir you do not need to tell me that because i know that i am a criminologist okay i'm a licensed criminologist and itong police officer naman un ko na na oo okay okay sir sige since alam mo naman na i'm not going to tell you anymore okay so anong mangyayari diyan malilintikan yung police officer why because my right to be informed of these constitutional rights mandatory yan hindi ko pwedeng i-waive yan no sir paano naman yung case ni Marcos si Marcos he was uh, he was able to defend himself ano he did uh, he didn't need a lawyer because back then he was uh, ano na to he was studying okay no andun siya sa selda niya he already passed the bar he passed the bar when he was in his uh, cell he passed the bar exam so basically when his trial was going on ano na to uh, siya na yung tumayong attorney para sa kanya okay now that is your you can, uh, that is your right okay to waive uh, I-wave mo na yung pagkakaroon mo ng counsel. And again, take note, these should be waived, okay, in writing and in the presence of a counsel. Pagkatapos na yan, aalis na yung mga yan, okay, pwede mo nang i-defend yung sarili mo, okay, in the succeeding trials to come. Okay, again, alalaan ninyo, ladies and gentlemen, these rights are very important, especially for police officers. So for instance, yung hinuhuli ninyo, judge, prosecutor, and then sinigawan kayo. Huwag mo nang sabihin sa akin yan, kasi alam ko na yan. I'm a judge, I'm a prosecutor, I'm a fiscal, whatsoever. Okay, I'm the chief justice. Okay, sabihin nyo pa rin. Kahit na blah 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 siya ng blah blah blah. Okay, just, just tell them their rights. Because that's mandatory. Hindi nila pwedeng i-wave yan. Their right to be informed of their constitutional rights. Okay, it, stated, it states there again, that one can waive their right to remain silent and to have a competent counsel but one cannot waive their right to be informed of such rights yan yung sinasabi natin kanina the waiver must be done in the presence of one's counsel and in writing okay. and in writing okay. kasi kailangan natin ng uh, documentary evidence if in case that uh, ipapalabas yan during trial Okay. Tab 2. No torture, force, violence, threat, intimidation, or any other means which vitiate free will shall be used against people. Yung mga under custodial investigation, yung mga nasa kulungan, those who are serving their sentence. Secret detention places such as solitary confinement, incommunicado, or other similar forms of detention are prohibited. 
there was a news before i think this was back in 2018 or 2017 in uh, Quezon City yung likod ng bookcase ng uh, station commander if i'm not mistaken uh, sliding yun and then at the back of that my cell okay may pinagkukulungan doon bawal po yun okay so say for instance uh, during custodial investigation Hinuli ninyo yung offender, pinunta ninyo sa station for uh, booking, for the mugshot, etc. For re recording purposes and for filing a proper complaint against the person. Uh, Ininterrogate nyo yung tao, binugbog ninyo. Okay, tinanggal ninyo yung fingernails niya ng tig isa. Okay, ano pang ginawa nyo yung ngipin niya? Yung ngipin niya, inanggal ninyo with the plies just to extract information. Bawal po yan. The torture scenes, the interrogation scenes that you see in films conducted by various law enforcement agencies depicted in movies, those are all prohibited. Bawal po yan. Why? Ahabulin kayo ng CHR, ng Commission on Human Rights. Okay? So that's not allowed. Okay? Threats or intimidation. So, I mean, in mora, kung hindi, bubulbusin namin yung pamilya mo. Yeah, bawal yan. That is not allowed. Okay? Yan, solitary confinement. Okay, you already know how this looks like. If you don't, then I'll be uh, uh, attaching a photo on the, uh, the video that you can, you'll be able to observe. Now, itong solitary kasi na iso is that uh, you'll be uh, in a dark room, walang ilaw yan, etc. Mag-isa mo lang dyan. Okay? Mas uh, matindi yung tinatawag natin na Bartolina. Bartolina was introduced during the Spanish uh, era. Uh, it's, it's, it's very small, ano, kasing laki lang siguro or twice ng size ng doghouse. Okay. Parang ganun, and then ilalagay ka dun, dun ka na dudumi, dun ka na kakain. Okay, walang ilaw yan. There is very limited movement because the space is very crammed. Okay, Bartolina ang tawag dyan. Okay, bawal yan. Incomunicado. Okay, it's similar to solitary pero dito sa incomunicado, segregate ka, hindi ka kakausapin. So, it's psychological torture. Other forms of detention are prohibited. Okay, waterboarding. Okay, yung ginagawa ng CIA. Okay, bawal yung mga yan. Okay, just to extract information. Okay, bawal po yan. So whatever, uh, how about if uh, the information required is uh, uh, connected to national security, public safety, public health, whatsoever. Bawal pa rin. Okay, we cannot resort to that. Yung mga leaders ng NPA na nahuhuli, uh, hindi nila tinutorture. Why? Because uh, probing is being done by the CHR, Commission on Human Rights. Okay, tab 3. Any confession or admission obtained in violation of this or section 17 thereof shall be inadmissible in evidence against them. Lahat ng forms ng admission or confession obtained through torture, through threats, through violence, okay, they are not admissible in court. Ano ba ang admission? Admission is the uh, acknowledgement of the occurrence of facts while confession is the direct acknowledgement of one's guilt say for instance uh, during a uh, interrogation scene okay, tinotorture ako minamartil yun nila yung fingers ko and then because of that because of the pain unbearable pain i was forced to make an admission on the occurrence of facts say for instance uh, nakita ko siyang namatay pero hindi ako ang pumatay something like that nakita ko siya dun na patay siya yung oras ganito okay those are facts facts of the case while confession is the direct acknowledgement of guilt na ako ang pumatay ako ang pumatay sa kanya ginamit ko itong kutsilyo na ito I killed the person why? because of like this and like that okay that's confession Admission, facts, confession, guilt. Okay, that's your uh, summary there. Tab 4. 
the law shall provide for penal and civil sanctions for violations of this section as well as compensation to and rehabilitation of victims of torture and are or other similar practices and their uh, families okay meron tayong tinatawag na civil liability okay say for instance victims of uh, murder victims of rape okay all of them are remunerated by virtue of the uh, civil liability and uh, yung civil liability kasi na yun, it all uh, contains the uh, physical damages moral damages psychological uh, damages all of those in monetary form na ibabayad dun sa victim okay, and there are a lot of uh, support groups out there that will be able to help and donate funds for the recovery and remuneration of these victims section 13 all persons except those charged with offenses punishable by reclusion perpetua the highest form of punishment kasi tinanggal na po ang death penalty again take note walang death penalty dito sa Pilipinas because it infringes the constitution when evidence of guilt is strong shall before conviction be bailable by sufficient sureties or be released on recognizance as may be provided by law the right to bail shall not be impaired even when the privilege of the writ of habeas corpus is suspended excessive bail shall not be required okay say for instance ako nagkaroon ako ng uh, nahuli ako sa pag-commit ng crime ngayon nag-post bail ako okay if the evidence of my guilt is strong or kunyari if the evidence of my guilt is strong then hindi ako bibigyan ng bail Pero kapag uh, yung penalty ko is reclusion perpetua, okay, let's go back. If the penalty of the crime that I committed is reclusion perpetua and the evidence of guilt is strong, hindi ako bibigyan ng opportunity na mag-bail. I'll discuss bail later, don't worry. And uh, the, uh, the, uh, the opposite is that when I commit a crime punishable by reclusion perpetua but the evidence of guilt is low mababa parang malabo na ako yung gumawa ng krimen kahit na nakasuan ako then pwede akong magpost ng bail okay. what is bail? bail is a temporary uh, release from the custody okay, of uh, law take note that bail is not a right it's a privilege okay to those who have the money to those who have the property pwede lang gamitin yan okay now there are four types of bail one is cash bond cash bond or cash bail is determined by uh, the court kung saan na file yung case mo okay so they will be the one who will uh, uh, provide for the amount they will be the one who will uh, state kung magkano yung ibibigay uh, ibibigay mo dapat sa kanila saan mo yung ibibigay it's either sa court or dun sa treasury next you have their property bond when it comes to property bond i discussed earlier on real and personal property real not movable personal movable ang pwede mo lang dyan gamitin pang bill are real properties parcel, parcels of land uh, real estate even vehicles pwede yan okay. next is your corporate surety here in uh, corporate sureties is that you will be uh, approaching a uh, corporation mga insurance companies okay, mga nagbibigay ng loan and then they will cover the bill for you Okay, of course, may interest yan na babayaran mo sa kanila kapag labas mo or pag natapos na yung kaso mo, whatever is the outcome, babayaran at babayaran mo yan sa insurance company. Say for instance, SSS, pwede siguro dun. Uh, Insular Life, ano pa, AXA, uh, Wilam, okay, ano ba? Di ko lang kung yung home credit nagbibigay <laughs> ng ano na to, nagbibigay sila ng... Uh, loan para dyan sa bill na yan no? and uh, finally 
you have here release on recognizance. Release on recognizance, unlike the uh, previous uh, types of bail, release on recognizance is only offered to those who have committed light offenses. Say for instance, uh, trespassing. Uh, say for instance, Nagnakaw ako ng donut dun sa 7-Eleven. Okay, those are light offenses. Okay, truancy. Yeah, absenteeism, that's a crime. Then that's a uh, light offense. Those that are punishable by fine or uh, just a few months in prison. No? Mga aresto, aresto minor. Okay, or fine lang. Okay, pwede kayong mag-avail uh, ng release on recognizance. When it comes to release on recognizance, you will ask a person who has a good standing in the community to represent you in court. Okay. Now, what happens if I jump bail? Paano ba itong jump bail na to? When you jump mail, bail, it means that during your period of bail, kasi yung kaso mo, ongoing. Okay. Kapag nagpiansa ka, hindi ka babalik dun sa kulungan for temporary ano na to temporary detention pwede kang umuwi okay yan ang purpose ng bail during the duration of the trial from arraignment to uh, promulgation of judgment promulgation of decision malaya ka you can go to the community if nagbail ka pero kapag hindi ka nagbail uh, kunyari pagkatapos ng arraignment Babalik ka dun sa custody ng polis, ng BGMP. Dun ka muna sa kulungan matutulog. Pag darating na yung pre-trial, papalabasin ka na naman, i-escort ka, pupunta ka sa court. Pagkatapos ng pre-trial, balik ka dun sa selda. Okay? Yan ang purpose ng bail. To give you uh, ano na to? temporary liberty from the clutches or from the custody of law. Okay. Uh, now, when you jump bail, pag tumakas ka, say for instance, nakapagpiansa ka, and then pagkatapos ng arraignment, okay, pagkatapos ng pre-trial, trial na, yan na. Okay, hindi ka na nagpapakita. You're no longer attending uh, court sessions. Ang unang gagawin dyan is that they will uh, issue you a bench warrant okay, for not attending. Warning muna, tapos bench warrant. Pag uh, nakita nila, if they serve the bench warrant, tapos wala ka dun sa residence mo, okay, there's a tendency na nag-jump na ng bail mo. So what will happen dun sa deposit mo? Okay. It will now be confiscated in favor of the government. Sa gobyerno na yung perang pinangpiansa mo. Yung bahay na pinangpiyansa mo. Yung lupang pinangpiyansa mo. Okay? So, what is habeas corpus ba? Okay? Habeas corpus is a petition to review the case. Okay? Okay. So, there you have there your types of bail as stated there. You just uh, check those if you have uh, if you have uh, clarifications. You have there section 14, tab 1. No person shall be held to answer for a criminal offense without due process of law. Meaning, uh, say for instance, nahuli ka dyan sa session road na nagpipikpakit. Okay, can you still go tra to trial? Yes, definitely. Okay, I am accused of robbery. Okay, hindi nila pwedeng sabihin na siyang nag-commit ng robbery. Why? Kasi nasa kanya yung alahas. Na, na, na dapat sa kanya. Okay? Dapat, uh, ano na to, dapat, uh, you have to follow due process. Okay? Trial, yan. Okay. Any person shall be presumed innocent until proven guilty. Sinusundan po natin yung tinatawag na uh, adversarial system wherein, a system of justice wherein the offender is deem innocent until proven guilty. The opposite of the adversarial system is the inquisitorial system. 
under inquisitorial system, okay, you are presumed immediately. You are immediately presumed as guilty until proven otherwise by court. So, parang baliktad. Okay? Adversarial, inosente ka hanggang mapatunayan na guilty ka. Yan. By, by purpose of the trial, of course. And dun sa inquisitorial system, guilty ka kaagad. Okay? Ang, mag ang gagawin lang natin is to prove your innocence okay, during the court proceedings. Okay? That's the difference. Okay? You have here equipoise rule. Under the equipoise rule, if the evidence presented by both parties are totally equal in weight and substance, that the court cannot make a decision whether the person is guilty or not, the scale of justice shall tilt over in favor of the accused. Okay? Say for instance, nag present si victim. Okay? Si uh, uh, yes, si uh, prosecution. nag present siya ng evidence. nag present din ng evidence si defense. Yung weight nila parehas. The evidence cannot prove the guilt or innocence of the accused. So parang nagkukontrahan yan. Okay? Malakas. Walang natatalo. Both sides, walang natatalo. Magaling yung, magaling yung prosecutor, magaling yung defense attorney. Ano nang mangyayari dyan? Since we cannot determine the guilt or innocence, the weight of justice or the weighing scale of lady justice will tip over to the defense. Okay? Why? Equipoise rule follows the principle or respects the principle that it is better to acquit a guilty person rather than to imprison an innocent one. Okay. That is the belief of the equipoise rule. Tab 2. In all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall be presumed innocent until the contrary is proved and shall enjoy the right to be heard by himself and counsel to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation against him. Okay. This is done during the arraignment stage. Iyan yung pinakauna sa ano na to sa pag nasa court pillar na kayo. Di ba? Maalala niyo yung five pillars of the CJS you have there. In order, always in order, law enforcement, prosecution, court, corrections and of course community. Okay? They have the right uh, to be informed of the nature and cause of the accus accusation against them, to have a speedy, impartial and public trial. Public trial, anong ibig sabihin yan? Saan sila magta-trial dun sa Burnham Park? No. Of course, the meaning of this is that the courtroom, while the case or while the trial is ongoing, shall be open to the public. Kaya pwede kayong mag-observe dun sa later, later years ninyo sa CRIM. Okay, you can watch uh, trials. Okay. And of course, uh, to meet the witness face to face, and to have compulsory process to secure the attendance of witnesses and the production of evidence in his behalf. However, take note that after arraignment, trial may proceed notwithstanding the absence of the accused provided that he has been duly notified and his failure to appear is unjustifiable. Ang ibig sabihin yan is that we have stages in uh, during the uh, sa court pillar kasi ang mauna dyan is arraignment pre-trial conference, pre-trial, you'll have there the trial proper, under trial proper, you have their direct examination, cross-examination, re redirect, recross, and then susunod na dyan is promulgation of decision and promulgation of judgment. Ang, uh, when it comes to arraignment, take note ladies and gentlemen that mandatory ang attendance ng accused sa arraignment. Kaya when you'll be doing your observation in your later years, you'll notice that if the accused 
is absent during arraignment. They will not proceed with the arraignment. Ang gagawin nila dyan is that the judge will all order the clerk to proceed to the next case. Uh, people of the Philippines versus Andaya. Uh, what meron ba dyan si Andaya? Wala. Okay. Next, proceed to people of the Philippines versus Balantog. Nandiyan ba si Balantog? Wala. The next case, people of the Philippines versus Palinos. Okay. O, oh, andyan si Palinos. Okay, let's start the arraignment. Okay. Why? Because arraignment is mandatory. Again, it, because it's stated in the Bill of Rights. You have your right to be informed of the nature and cause of accusation against you. However, ladies and gentlemen, after arraignment, pwede nang mag-absent yung, uh, ano na to, yung accused. Okay. The accused can now absent himself during trial. But doing so will now waive the right to be heard, the right to uh, cross-examine their witnesses. Okay? So, pwede kayong mag-absent mag during trial. Ang tawag dyan is that trial is, ang tawag dyan is trial in absentia. Okay? We will proceed with the trial even if the accused is absent. Section 15, the privilege of the writ of habeas corpus shall not be suspended except in cases of invasion or rebellion when the public, when public safety require, requires it. Okay, review of uh, cases shall not be suspended except in cases of invasion or rebellion when, the, when public safety requires it. So during invasion, okay, during wartime, and during uh, rebellion, rebellious, uh, ano to, rebellious acts, we, we do not have the luxury of time to uh, review cases. Next, you have their section 16. All persons shall have the right to a speedy disposition of their cases before all judicial, quasi-judicial, or administrative bodies. That is provided by the Bill of Rights and, of course, Republic Act 8493, Your Speedy Trial Act of 1998. Section 17, no person shall be compelled to be a witness against themselves. Okay, that is your right against self-incrimination. Section 18, no person shall be detained solely by reason of their political beliefs and aspirations. Um, parang yung mga communists ninyo, yung mga NPA ninyo. Yan, nagrarally-rally sila dyan. Hindi sila pwedeng huliin. Why? Because... Uh, some of their demonstrations are non-violent and of course of, because of section 18 am i telling you to join them no never do not join them sira ang future ninyo pag sumali kayo dun sa mga dun sa pulang araw na yan. no voluntary servitude in any form shall exist except as a punishment for a crime whereof part the party shall have been duly convicted okay uh, what is involuntary servitude? That is uh, otherwise known as slavery. Bawal po yan. Section 19. Excessive fines shall not be imposed, nor cruel, degrading, or inhuman punishment be inflicted. Okay, yung health ng mga prisoners natin, they have to watch for that. Okay, kasi tao pa rin yung mga yan. Even if they have committed the most cruel acts of violence or crimes, they are still human. Okay? For compelling reasons involving heinous crimes, the Congress hereafter provides for it. Any death penalty already imposed shall be reduced to reclusion perpetua. Say for instance, you are already uh, andun ka sa kulungan and then say for instance, bukas uh, is your uh, death by lethal injection because that was allowed before. That is the uh, uh, humane punishment offered before. To Leo Echegaray. Uh, he was the first person to be uh, killed by uh, lethal injection. Okay. RA 9346 provides the act of prohibiting the imposition of death penalty in the Philippines. Okay. So the proper term there is prohibit. Death penalty is prohibited. It is not abolished. Okay. It's not suspended. It's not terminated. It's not extinguished. The proper term there is prohibited. Okay? Laging sundin ang terms na naka-state sa patas. 
Okay, do not make your own laws. Section 1 of RA 9346 states that the imposition of death penalty is prohibited. Accordingly, RA uh, 8177, which is death by lethal injection, is already repealed. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng repealed? Yung batas, nabura. Ang kalaban ng word na repeal is amend. The word amend, okay, ang ibig sabihin niyan is that certain provisions or certain sections doon sa batas ay napalitan. Say for instance, section 1, ayaw nila yung bagong title, palitan natin. So yung na-amend lang doon is yung section 1. Yung entire na batas, buhay pa rin. Yung ibang sections lang ang napalitan. Unlike dito sa repealed na, talagang tinanggal na yung batas na bura. Okay? You have the RA number 7659, otherwise known as the death penalty law, and all other laws, executive orders, and decrees insofar as they impose the death penalty are hereby repealed or amended accordingly. Okay, so lahat ng nakalagay dun sa revised penal code ninyo na sabi doon is punishable by death, 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 death. All of those are uh, repealed. Okay, hindi na po death. Okay, reclusion perpetua lahat yan. Okay. So, murder, uh, dun sa reverse penal code, the penalty for murder is death. And because of this, hindi po death ang penalty dyan. Okay, reclusion perpetua. Okay, tab 2, the employment of physical, psychological, or degrading punishment against any prisoner or detainee or the use of substandard or inadequate penal facilities under subhuman conditions will be dealt with by law. As much as possible, we should always treat our prisoners, our inmates, humanely. Okay? We should provide them with food, health care, etc. Kaya nga, some other people who are below poverty line would rather commit crimes and be sent to jails or prisons because hindi na sila magproblema sa pagkain nila. Diba? 24 hours security, 24-7 security, free board and lodging. Diba? And, ano, pagkain. Diba? Three times a day. Three meals a day. Diba? Okay, so as much as possible, they should always uh, maintain humane conditions in jails and prisons. Okay, section 20, no person shall be imprisoned for debt or non-payment of poll tax. So, hindi ka nagbayad ng, ano to, ng utang mo, then you are, hindi ka pwede inkulong. Okay, siguro pwede dun sa small claims. Small claims court. Pwede, pwede nyo file yung kaso dun. Okay, what are civil liabilities? Again, civil liabilities, as I uh, stated a while back, these are to be paid to the victims or to the victim, the offended party. While fines, ito babayaran to sa gobyerno. Okay. But what if I committed murder and the fine is, uh, no, not murder, violation of nine, RA 9165. Ang bibigat ng penalty dyan. Say for instance, uh, when it comes to drugs, certain penalties can range of uh, to around 2 million okay say for instance yung fine ko is 2 million wala akong pang bayad dyan o, saan ako nakasuhan dito sa Baguio magkano ang minimum wage dito sa Baguio 300 sabihin na natin divided by uh, uh, 2 million divided by 300 yan yan ang additional na days na may dadagdag dun sa sentence ko Okay, ang tawag dyan is subsidiary uh, penalty. Section 21, no person shall be uh, be put twice in trial. Okay, double jeopardy, right against double jeopardy. Okay, so you cannot be imprisoned or penalized twice for the same offense. Okay, example is that, uh, say for instance, Marisa is tried in court for murdering Joanne. And the court acquits her due to lack of evidence. 
even if there is no even if there is a uh, new form of evidence against Marisa, she cannot be tried again for murdering Joanne. Kasi tapos na nga yung kaso eh. Okay? Ngayon may bagong evidence. Itatry muna naman siya. Itatry muna naman si Marisa. What? Hindi na pwede yun. Okay, that's already double jeopardy. Okay. Finally, you have their section 22. No ex post facto law or bill of attainder shall be enacted. Ano ba itong bill of attainder na ito? A legislative act which inflicts punishment without judicial trial. Okay, again, presumption of innocence, right to due process of law, ex, facto, ex post facto law, a law that punishes an act which is not yet punishable at the time it was committed. Okay? Okay, you have their ex post facto law. Say for instance, uh, murder. Say for instance, murder. Example lang, uh, murder is not yet a crime. I killed Juan today. Kina, kina umagahan or three days later, they passed a new law which penalizes murder. Can I be arrested and tried for murder? No. Why? Kasi ang mga batas natin, prospective. It looks into the future. It is not retroactive. Retro, yeah, retro, old school, vintage, it does not go back. Hindi nagbabacktrack yung batas natin. So say for instance, yung example ko kanina that I killed someone today, I cannot be tried for that crime tomorrow. Okay, kasi may bagong batas, bukas, no, cannot be tried. Okay, cannot be tried for that. That is your ex post facto law. That is the end of this uh, uh, discussion. If you have questions, feel free to uh, comment on the. Uh, yeah. Feel free to ask questions in the chat box.